Hello and welcome to the video. I'm Jimmy the Mower and today we're going to be taking a look at the Aldi 49 piece toolkit in a bag. So then, what's the reasoning behind this bag? I've got a great workshop, it's stock full of tools. Well, I'll tell you a little secret. My wife, Mrs. Moa, is always at home going on, can you do this, can you do that, can you fix this, can you fix the other? Well, she's reminding me every two or three months to keep doing these jobs, and I've never got the tools to hand. They're either in my workshop or they're in my truck. So when I was in Aldi the other day and I saw this for 29.99, I'm a sucker for these mid oil bargains. I thought I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna keep it at home. And hopefully there should be enough stuff in here to be able to get done the jobs that I need to do. So without any further ado, let's open it up and actually see what's in. That's an easy unwrap, eh? Best one we've ever had. He says as he gets it stuck around the other side. <laughs> so there's a Velcro fastening there, something. There's a Velcro fastening then on the edges. If you see that, you can pull that Velcro fastening down and that'll go over the edge. I didn't see that before. So even with it not buckled up at the front, you can still lift it up. I'm sure we've all had one of those old cantilever boxes and we've lifted the lid up, it's opened and everything's fell out, you know. So that's, that's a good feature straight off. Right, that's not what I was expecting. We got a box and all the tools must be in there. So we've just got the empty bag, <laughs> there's nothing else. So I'll have to unbox it again. We've got a shoulder strap here for carrying it round. Inside the box, we've got lots of pockets, even some, Vel some little, not Velcro, elastic loops on the front there. It's quite sturdy. I don't know what's in there, whether it's some like plastic board or something, but it's quite a sturdy box. Although, yeah, you hear that, so it's good. Shoulder strap, carrying strap, put that over, put that to one side and I'll open this box of tools. So we get the trusty knife out and we'll open this box and see what we've got inside. All right, there's a lot of plastic packaging. I'll keep my knife to one side just in case I need it. Now, first thing out of the box then, we've got a little mini spirit level there. Let's have a look, I think it's magnetic. I've got one up on the back here somewhere. That was out of a, a Makita drill bit set that I had a while ago. And that one's on there, but you know, as I say, these things never make it home. So <laughs> hopefully this one will. I'm struggling to unwrap it here. All fingers and thumbs, this cellophane. I'll right, just get that undone. Brilliant. Okay, put that down on there. I have to sweep it up after. I don't think there's a brush in there though. Right, there's your spirit level. Magnet on one side, nice flat edge on the other side. Three different levels in there, 45, horizontal, vertical. And I'm presuming the magnet will work and it will stay on there. I think it's pretty much the same as the one that was in the Makita kit really, just a different color. Right, we'll put that to one side. Next, this is an easy one to unwrap. We've got a little saw there, nice saw. Looks a bit coarse, maybe not the greatest for sort of indoor jobs or whatever, but sawing up a bit of timber in the garden or a bit of rough stuff might not be so bad. And I'll struggle to get that back on while I'm on camera. So I'll put that over there with the guard out of the way. Next up, five meter tape measure, always handy to have. Should think there's a locking mechanism on it. Yeah, there there is. And back again, little belt loop on there. And I did see on the side of the bag when I was unwrapping it, whether that is to clip on there or not, I don't know. But it's a good handy place to store it anyway. If not, there's tons of room inside. So that can go over there. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> a pair of scissors. Now, as you know, if you ever watch any of these videos, 
I'm always struggling for a pair of scissors. I don't have any in the workshop. I'm always using this knife here. And sometimes you're best off with a pair of scissors for cutting little bits and pieces. So that's the first bit, bit of kit that's not gonna make it home. I'll pop those in my tray over there. What have we got up next? Little pair of pliers. These are like little cutting pliers if you're cutting wire or cutting anything. Um, like small tin snips or whatever, these are great for that. They're, uh, they look quite sharp, they're quite robust as well. Got a nice strong handle on there, you can feel that. Ha. These are always handy for at home. The little screwdrivers there, great for kids' toys, putting batteries in stuff, all that kind of stuff. We've got some uh, Philips ones in there and we've got some flathead ones as well, up to three mil, so they'll definitely be coming in handy. Right, another one, another little hacksaw now then. So we've got the saw over here for the wood, that's what that's for. And we've got a little hacksaw here, that'll be for metal or plastic, something like that. So if you're doing a bit of pipe work around the house, got to trim something up, and maybe a metal door bar if you're moving carpets around, that'll be perfect for that. I don't know if there's any spare blades in here, but we'll have a look. But if not, they're only a couple of pence to buy from, uh, from one of the local shops, you know, they're no bother. Put that over there. Right, proper set of pliers now then. There we go. So there's a good grip on those. If you don't know how these work, you've got two flat faces at the front, right up there. They're for pinching stuff really tight. If you're trying to work a, a nut or a bolt or something in there, you've got this little bit in the middle that's like slightly rounded. And then if you're trying to cut something, you've got a little cutter face at the back there and that'll cut as well. It won't cut as well as these, but if you've only got one pair with you and that's what you need to do, then that'll work. Um, if you're trying to undo something with it or trying to grip something with it, don't use the little cutting face at the back because it will just get ruined and then it's not good for anything really. Right, another set of pliers, needle nose pliers, right? Again, they've got a little cutting face at the back there, just tiny little pincers, but they're great for gripping stuff and they're great for picking stuff out. If you watch any of my other videos, when we're changing fuel filters on uh, little machines and stuff, we dip into the tank with these and we can just pinch them out and uh, they're great, great addition to any toolbox. Uh, what have we got now? Set of Allen keys. I'll open these and I'll show you what these are and what they do. Now these Allen keys here, these are fantastic and on a great little key ring here as well. So they're great. We go start from the large size, work all the way down to the small size. You ever put any flat pack furniture together or anything like that, you'll have come across these and you'll have used them. Maybe you lose the original key or whatever. If you've got these in your toolbox or they're handy, you can use them to tighten these bits and pieces up for years and years after. So they're always great to have. And it's, they're on springs. I presume you can pull them out and push them back in, but I tend not to do that. I try and leave them in the springs, take the whole bunch with me, and try and keep the whole bunch together so they don't get separated and lost out. But saying that, I've had to buy a new set because we can't find any at home. <laughs> so I'll put those over there. Oh, next we've got a little adjustable spanner. So exactly what it says on the tin is just a spanner there. You can adjust the wheel in and out like that, just to accommodate different size nuts or bolts. You can grip it. If you've got to do it, I wouldn't recommend it. I'd always recommend using a spanner, but if your needs must, you can grab one end with it, the pliers, and the other end with this, lock it up tight, and you can turn it round and you'll be able to undo stuff. So that's always handy to have. Next, we've got a little hammer. And it is a little hammer. I suppose it's just about right for knocking in little nails and stuff around the house for hanging pictures and that so yeah it's good and a claw on the other side so any rough nails or even a screw that's stubborn to get out you can put that underneath bit of leverage on there and, and pull it out so that's that done now we've got a couple of bits there all right i'll get those out i'll move this box out of the way i'll try and put the rubbish in tidy up as i go make it easier now what have we got here all ah, right, we've had the small screwdrivers, so now we've got some bigger screwdrivers. Right then, so we've got a 
Phillips there, or posi drive actually, the way it's starred in. So that's a posi drive screwdriver. That's a good size. Most of the screws that we're using around the houses are quite um, tight to get in there. Posi drives, you've got this to get in and, and, and move them with. You've got a good, uh, you get good purchase on that with it being a long handle. However, if they're in tight spaces, you've got the same head on a small stubby one there. So if you're working, I don't know, behind the fridge, bath, wherever you've got to get a screw in or out, that can be a handy tool. And we've got a flat head as well for that. So that'd be great. And then lastly, we've got a screwdriver, just a handle set. So just a screwdriver there. And then I'm hoping these are sort of magnetized. They normally are. I'll pop one in and see if it is. Yeah, it is magnetized in there. So we've got different screwdriver bits on the top and put those in. So you've got like posi three starts off at and posi two, posi one, and then right down to a zero. That's a really fine tipped one if you need to get into some small electrical stuff. Then we've got the hex keys on the top. They're the same as these. But if you don't want to use the bunch or you're struggling to, to get in and round with the angle on those, you can put it into this and you can drive it straight in like a screwdriver in and out. So they're always handy to have. And then on this side, we've got the star keys again. A lot of equipment these days is coming with these little star keys in or these little star drives are required to remove the, the bolts in there. So we've got three star drives in there and we've got some more screwdriver bits, just some Phillips ones and some normal flathead ones. So that's that. So we've got all the stuff. I better put the scissors back in as well, hadn't I? Or else I'll get told off. So we've got all the stuff. I'm gonna open up the bag and I'm gonna try and put it in there in some sort of order. First of all, I'll get the shoulder strap out the way. Now, I don't know how we're going to do this. If I lie it down like that, right, we could probably do with these screwdriver bits going into one of these pockets on the side. Uh, there, just put those down at the bottom in there. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'll just see what we can do. So that's about there. Then into that same pocket, I should pop the screwdriver end and we know that that's in there with those uh, don't need my knife we'll put that out of the way tape measure i'm not sure if it's designed to fit on the outside or not but i saw that clip and i don't know if anybody else knows anything else about it or what else could go in there no you wouldn't keep a saw on the outside i don't think so it must be for a tape measure if you know any different then let me know but I'd say tape measure on the outside, that's handy. You've got that little pocket there. Maybe we can fit the screwdrivers in. So electrical screwdrivers in there. If not, I was thinking, I don't know if you're working around and you put your phone down, you lose it, you can't find where your phone is. If you kept it in that pocket, you'd always know where it was, wouldn't you? So that would be handy there. We've got this little clip on the side and I'm not sure whether this clips back on itself onto there or whether that's just a clip to hold something on or whether you can put your keys on there or whatever you're doing. I don't know, I really don't know. So I'll, I think I'll just leave that one for now. We come round to this side over here and we've got all these pockets again, but I'm sure these will fit in. You can put the pliers in on the outside and then you always know where they are, but I wouldn't really bother because We've got so much room inside. It's amazing, really. We could put everything, just drop it in. We can put the hammer in first, set of pliers, other set, cutters, screwdrivers in there, scissors I'll put in a little pouch on the side. Spirit level, that can fit in at the side as well. There's a nice little hook for that. The saw, we can put that in, and then that's on the inside and out of reach anybody these little allen keys here ah you know what we could maybe clip those on there couldn't we i don't know if they'll they'll work or even better than that look because they're on a key ring and turn it round and pop that on there so there we go they're on the outside nice and tidy adjustable spanner we'll drop that inside and then We've just got to put the safety cover back on the saw, if I can do it. These are so tricky. And I bet this saw is so sharp, just come out of the box. 
you want to keep this cover on there as, as long as you can really because once these go a bit dull they're no good saws it, it, back in the day you could sharpen saw tips and whatever else but not anymore I'm afraid they're just disposable items so you want to keep that cover on there that's nice and safe and we'll drop it in the bag so that's all that done I'll turn it round you can see there is tons and tons of room in there to get so many more tools you can get all sorts of stuff and there'll be even more room after you've had it a few weeks and lost half the bits so it's a win-win situation <laughs> hey so that's all the tools put away in there then and it's all right for you lot sitting at home watching youtube videos but i've got to get back and have a beer quickly because as soon as my wife sees this one i'll be stuck at home for the next couple of weekends doing all the jobs that i've been putting off for months so if you've got something nice to say pop it in the comments section below give me the thumbs up and subscribe if you can and remember i'm jimmy the mower i'll catch you on the next one